Hello friends and subscribers, welcome back to Daniel's Tech World on YouTube. Today, a quick video tutorial on how you can get a infrared blaster which controls an air conditioner and that works in Tuya, but you just can't get it to integrate to Home Assistant. Maybe the infrared blaster just is not uh, compatible at all with Home Assistant. So here's a little workaround I thought of today using the Tuya app. So firstly, we're going to create a tap and run uh, scene in Tuya and we're going to create one just for uh, the state of the air conditioner. So the if is when the tap and run is launched and the control single device is going to be your infrared blaster. Uh, in the infrared blaster you're then going to get the ability to make the changes to your uh, air conditioner. So I set mine up for cold and then we're going to name this scene, I'm going to call this scene Office Air Conditioner Cold. So this is a process we're creating scenes in Tuya, which we're then going to trigger from Home Assistant. So I did uh, three in total. I added one for hot and I added one for off. Just remember that infrared is a send only protocol. So this is really the way that you have to do it. You set up different scenes for uh, the different states. But I think between off, hot and cold, you have basic automations possible. So this is my one for hot. And finally, I created a tap to run scene for cold. If logic is tap, and then the then is gonna be control single device. We're gonna control the office air conditioner connected to the infrared blaster again. And I just set the device state to power off, as you can see. And then we're gonna call this scene office AC off. And that is it. Once we have these three scenes in Tuya, we're ready to go and uh, move into Home Assistant. So the first thing I did is in the Tuya integration in Home Assistant, I uh, right clicked on the button and then did reload. And this will just force Tuya to send its data into Home Assistant and you should get those new scenes there. So firstly, I'm gonna create a helper. I'm going to create a button for all of these device states, but I'll just do one in this video. Office AC cold and the icon is going to be the air conditioner. Next, we need to create an automation which is going to create, connect between pushing the button and turning the air conditioner. You wanna do an entity, change state, and then uh, the entity controlled is going to be office AC cold. And uh, when that occurs, then we're going to do something. We're going to activate the scene and the scene is going to be the Tuya scene, which we just imported to Home Assistant, which is uh, the first one here is Office AC Cold. So now we have our helper button. We have the automation to make it actually do something. And I'm just going to give a little description toggles the Office AC to cold air state and I'm going to click on save. Finally, in my little quick control dashboard, I have these little buttons and I'm just going to add a new card. I'm going to choose type to be button and the entity we're going to be triggering is going to be the input button for office AC cold, not the state. Uh, the name is just called it office AC on cold and that is finally it. We now have a button in home assistant and if we simply press this, will trigger the Tuya scene which is connected, which in turn will trigger the desired state in the controlled air conditioner infrared device. Hope that was helpful. Thanks for watching and until next time.